tip. Welcome guys to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can save searches uh, in eBay as well as save sellers and add items to your watch list. So I think that this tutorial is very useful both for resellers as well as for buyers. So there can be situations where you as a buyer are seeking a specific item but it's uh, rare uh, and then you want to keep track of all the new listings that will be available. Also, uh, this is a good way to look for new bargains and uh, new uh, items that are listed. And if you are a seller on eBay, it can be also a good way to check on your competition, see what they are doing, uh, if they decrease their prices of their items and so on. So the first thing you have to do is uh, you have to uh, find the items or type in the search field what you are uh, looking for. So for example, I type uh, leather shoes. And in order to narrow down the search if you uh, save the search you can narrow it down and then th the narrower the search the fewer uh, items you will keep track of uh, so for example you can choose the size you can select uh, what type uh, of listings should be at the top for example i can choose price highest first and so on. You can select the material and all of these different categories. Now for the search, what you have to do is you press save this search and that will be saved. Uh, the way you can access this is if you go here at the top my eBay and then press saved searches. Here you can see, uh, I just typed leather shoes and you can manage this setting right here. If you want, you can delete it. And by default, you also subscribe to email, meaning that you will get the uh, daily emails about the new items that have been listed for this specific uh, search term. You can also press uns unsubscribe email right here. Furthermore, you can press view items and this will take me back to the uh, search page I had previously. And you can see that all, all the filters are here. So for example, I had chosen price highest first and that is uh, selected. So this uh, works for all of the search with the filters alternatively you can uh, press on the heart here and this will add to watch list uh, if i press watch list right here i will be able to manage uh, those settings this means that this will watch this specific listing and also i can do the same thing for the seller if i go here i can press save the seller or I can go into his profile and I will be also able to press save seller as well. And this will appear in the saved sellers section. So this way, as I said, you can both manage the saved searches, individual items or specific sellers you want to look at. And let's go over some uh, the help page. Uh, I think that it's quite useful. So it's basically explains what saved searches are. And at the moment there you can save up to 100 searches and sellers in total. Uh, however, this might change in the future, but these are the limitations at the moment. 
uh, and then it explains how you can save search or seller you can view the interest you have the email notifications and uh, you can delete the delete the saved searches or edit them so I will put a link into this help page because I think it's useful and in case something uh, will change in the future you will be able to see that as well but I think that uh, saving search is a very useful uh, tool for cracking down a specific niche that you are interested in and uh, seeing what new listings there are what the changes happens and that way you will be able to keep track of the niche and get daily emails reminders and so on so for example if uh, within a day you have a very broad niche let's say i had saved uh, within my uh, saved searches i have very broad niche belt there are thousands of uh, items within this category every day so i'll just be able to see a few of them within the email but there will be a link where i will be able to see all of the items similar to here so i hope uh, that this tutorial was useful and see you guys within the next one